most young, like Leonard Cohen says in that song about a woman he knew once. Needles grazing the indents of my body, replaying its curves and shivers through speakers, amplifying its melody. And if only my room had better acoustics. So you could hear every echo exactly as it is and not how I describe it. Stumbling and slurring over a language I'm supposed to be fluent in when you're sitting opposite me in my bed. I promise I've not been drinking, I'm just trying my best not to lean over one ruler length and kiss you. Because you're saying you want me. But it's not that easy or simple. And I say, okay. The first time I tried MDMA, I waited for two hours for it to creep up from my toes and warm my whole skeleton. And you're not beautiful. You're not beautiful in the way people are supposed to be beautiful, but last night you asked me if I wanted a drink and your voice, you couldn't hold it in, it held me closer than the cotton threads of my t-shirt. So I asked you if you knew palmistry as an excuse to hold your hand. And while I was still trying to remember which one was the lifeline, you said that maybe it grows with us until it creases our whole body with memories. And you say you're not a poet, but you can speak the achings of hearts more eloquently than any of us, bartering our honesty for metaphor and aesthetic. You can speak the rhythm of days and ways and seasons and how, although the trees are in love with their leaves, sometimes they just can't keep giving. And words will always turn me on. So while uh, you're trying to explain why you want to just stay friends, my brain is busy con conjuring up ways to hijack this plan. Don't know how to be sexy. If I did, this would probably be easier, but as it is, all I have is the gentle caress of language. Display my mastery. <clears throat> Let my words heat up like flames and lick every inch of your body tenderly like waterfalls slamming into rocks. And this may not seem like the right simile, but you just need to take time to watch brutal force turn jagged edges soft. Okay, enough with the shopping list of images. What I really mean is that the pressure of my hand on your chest might just help you, or not. But it's there, so take it. And the next time I see you, I'll offer you a beer door from Tesco's and sweep you off your feet.